Hey guys, quick video as promised in our 222 1GD FTV Prado. Uh, you can see we've just started up nine minutes ago and driven directly to the servo to do this video for you. It's our first refuel. So let's take a quick look at some statistics from the trip computers. And on the dashboard there, trip meter 1259, let's just say 1260Ks. It says this trip was 13. It says since I reset it, it's on 9.7 litres per 100 which won't be consistent with the tank, but the tank says 9.9 .9 litres per hundred. Let's fill it up and see what happens, eh? Obviously diesel. And there the tyres were on now, 50-50. 50% stock road tyres, 50% those. This will also be how accurate is the trip computer compared to the fill. Of course we need to do a number of those, not just one. And once we've done a number of those, I'll let you know how accurate it is. But if it's like the, like the other vehicle, the economy was slightly better than what the trip computer said most of the time. And there it is, the first click, 111 litres. The trip computer said 9.9, .9, did it not, for the fill, which would mean 1260 k's. 1,260 k's, should be 126 litres. You want to have a listen to it click for yourself? Here we go, I'll go for it again. Many clicks as you like, 112 litres. All right, let's get going out of here. First thing we do, right, what do we do? Well, we've got to wait for things to fire up. Take note, 113 litres over here on the receipt. Uh, as I said, after refuel, it said 9.9. .9. If you do a calculation, you can do 1260 there on the trip meter, which I'm about to reset. This is what you do after you refill, trip A, use it for your fuel economy. So you can do 1260 divided by 113, it'll tell you how many kilometers you'll get to the liter, or you can do 113 liters divided by 1260. You might have to move the decimal point, but it'll tell you this vehicle just got better than nine liters per 100 Ks, okay, for the first tank. 8.9 something up there, but let's just call it 9 litres per 100 k's of the genuine. So, like the other vehicle, like the 2019, it is about a litre per 100 k's better than the trip computer. Now, that will reset, so it hasn't picked up the after refuel yet. The fuel gauge, well, the gauge has gone up, but you, it'll sort itself out, right? You'll see in the next video if you're watching. Subscribe, turn the bell on, showing you real information here. Accurately calculated, proper information, not some of the dribble you get elsewhere. But anyway, right, wrong way. Okay, so after refuel, don't worry about that. We probably need to start driving. Uh, after reset, we're not changing that. And after start, that's what we're on there. We're out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, it helps you understand what the real world fuel economy is. It's a lot, very light. Prado GX stock standard, other than the all terrain tyres went on and a few other small things that don't affect the fuel economy. The tyres is the biggest thing, but we still got nine litres per hundred Ks for that first tank. That's pretty amazing for the size of the vehicle. Now let's see if it gets worse, better, or what happens. Like I said, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on, and sit tight for that next awesome video giving the real accurate information. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. And here we are, just you can see, eight minutes down the road, back to base, 3.6 kilometers. And let's have a look at the other readings, just so you know. So after start, don't always expect great fuel economy on a short trip like that. Stop start at a couple of sets of lights. That's what you're gonna get. You need to drive longer to get any sort of fuel economy, usually, unless you're going downhill. The reset, that ain't gonna change until we reset it. And you'll see the after refuel, there it is, it's adjusted. It's not right, we're gonna get better than that because look, it's gone to 11.3, 11.4 because of, look, that's all calculated by this, basically, right? And it's getting worse while I'm sitting here. So we're gonna switch it off and get on with the rest of the tank driving and see how many liters per hundred we get out of the next one. If you don't wanna miss it, subscribe, turn the bell on, and don't forget our other YouTube channel, Full Before Adventures, because it might have some interesting information for you also. Thanks for watching again. Thanks guys, see ya.